Detroit, John Adams considers himself a soldier who likes to pick fights with politicians. Adams is a boisterous 70-year-old retired magazine publisher who lives most of the year in Florida when he's not at his rural paradise, property he owns on Vancouver Island. Until last year, Adams was just an average fella. But then he took on Florida Governor Ron DeSantis with a TV spot repeatedly demanding DeSantis lift a ban on Florida vacation rentals during the COVID-19 pandemic. Adams, who owned three Florida rentals that were losing tens of thousands of dollars in revenue because of the ban, believes he won when DeSantis lifted the ban soon after the ad started to air. So now he is taking aim at bigger targets, President Joe Biden and Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Adams wants Biden and Trudeau to loosen the border restrictions between the US and Canada to allow for vaccinated, separated families, property owners like himself, and vital business stakeholders to enter Canada no later than June 21, earlier if vaccination rates improve. Adams' weapon of choice is a self-scripted, but professionally produced, 30-second TV spot that he is airing in Buffalo, New York, Northwest Washington State and in Metro Detroit. It's similar to the one he ran against DeSantis' ban on vacation rentals. The purpose of my ad is to get a phone call that says, Prime Minister Trudeau doesn't like these ads. Adams said. I'm not saying they need to open the border tomorrow, but I need a plan. I want to plan my summer. Some people want to plan their wedding and some people need to prepare that they may not see their 92-year-old relative across the border again. The TV ad plays on the relatable emotions of job loss, the frustration of property owners not permitted to visit their property in Canada, and the heartache of being separated from loved ones because the border has remained closed to most non-essential travel since March 2020. Stop hurting our economy and costing us jobs. Open the border now, a male narrator delivers in a stern baritone at the end of the spot. Canada's health officials and government leaders have been reviewing the pandemic conditions each month before deciding to extend the closure. On May 21, Canada extended it another 30 days, to June 21. James Cudmore, a spokesman for Bill Blair, Canada's Minister of Public Service and Emergency Preparedness, said the Canadian government was not aware of Adams' ads. Canada's decision on when and how to reopen the border will be made in Canada, with the best interest of Canadians as our top priority, Cudmore told the Free Press, which like USA Today is a part of the USA Today network. I'm fighting back, Adams said. Now I've got the power of the people. Here are the current rules to cross the border, that last restriction is what hits Adams and his wife of nearly 50 years, Martha, hardest.